You have got to watch the video until the very end. What's good, YouTube? Back at it again with another Dashcoin video. Now, if you're new to my channel, be sure to thumbs up this video, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. Now, I'm going to be showing you guys some Twitter. I'm going to be showing you guys some articles, and we're going to go over some information. Um, so, if you guys are interested into that and this type of video, um, just be sure to share this with somebody. Um, thumbs up this video, comment down below what you enjoyed about this video, and let me know if these are the things that you would like for me to do more of. Okay, now basically, I'm not a CPA or financial advisor, but basically, um, Bittrex, they delisted privacy coins, Monero Dash and Zcash. This is something that we've known for literally over eight months. This isn't new, okay? They didn't really give exact reasons on why. Pretty much they came out and said, hey, um, on this date, at this time, we're taking Dash coin off. And, you know, they didn't really give a real reason why, but, you know, a lot of it had to do with the know your customer policy, where basically you have to give like your email information, social security, so on and so forth. Um, and, you know, that is so that you can't like do money laundering or anything like that. And, you know, with regulation spreading across the world, they wanted to protect themselves. So, you know, obviously Dash came out and they straight told him like, hey, from a technical standpoint, Dash privacy functionality is no greater than Bitcoin's, making late making the label of privacy coin a misnomer for Dash. OK, so we reached out with them and let them know that we're not a fucking privacy coin. We actually do payments. Um, and if Bitcoin is, you know, anything like Dash coin, well, they're one and one. They should be considered the same because um, it, Bitcoin's privacy is, is no greater than that of a Dash coin. Dash coin initially came out and the white paper said that it was a privacy centric um, coin. But if you are into this space, well, you know, that that's a historical do a document. So while all this is going on, right, for the past eight months, right, they're not disclosing anything, right? Um, this, this happened like across multiple exchanges, pretty much everyone was like, you know what, we're going to get rid of all the dash coins, um, all the privacy coins, because, you know, quite frankly, we don't want to be a part of anything that has to do with money laundering. Right. Um, now just really quick, Bitcoin, if you guys are familiar with Bitcoin, well, then you're familiar with silk coin in the beginning, um, Bitcoin was known to be. Um, you know, uh, used for illicit activities and so on and so forth, right? And I just think that that's interesting because, you know, these transactions were done on Silk Road and all of these dark web websites, you know, they've offered things like Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum. Dashcoin has never been on any of these websites, okay? So um, I, I just feel like that's that's super cool. But what 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 was the most coolest thing to me um, that has happened is the Dashcoin was recently put back on to Bitrix, and this is an exchange that initially delisted Dashcoin because of you know these policies of money laundering and you know basically they wanted to protect their firm. So in about eight months, they figured out that uh, they probably dropped the ball. And that um, they're now going to provide liquidity doors and liquidity pools to come back into Dashcoin um, because, you know what, it was actually making money for them and it wasn't anything um, illegal going on that, you know, um, you know, people use U.S. dollars for uh, illicit activities. You know, you can pretty much use whatever you have for payment for illicit activities. I wouldn't know, but, um, you know, this is what criminals do. Some use Bitcoin, some use cash. Um, some may even use Dashcoin, but I'm not one to tell you, you know, what's actually happening because I, for one, I'm not using my fucking money for any illicit activities. As a matter of fact, I pay taxes for everything. So, um, yeah, if anything, my only illicit activity is paying federal taxes to the IRS. But that's another story for another day. Um, today, we're talking about Dashcoin and what this means. Um, really, what this means uh, long term, there's going to be more availability you know, Dashcoin's having a, a tremendous year. OK, it was listed on Webull about a month, month and a half ago. Um, a lot of things are changing in space. You know, uh, the Dash Direct app is is, is now out. Um, one of the biggest things that, that I, I don't think happened, um, happened. Uh, one of the biggest things that hasn't happened, it ended up happening. Right. Um, this is this is cool. Right. This is cool. Very good because Dash is the present and future of the crypto space. You know, everyone has an opinion, but everyone knows what's going on here, right? 
You lost a lot of customers that will never come back. What is a joke? First you list and again relist. Many people sold in that lost time. Yeah, so for the people that just don't understand, you know, they probably did lose a lot of money. I, I'm not one to say um, that those people who sold um, d did wrong, you know, because everyone's financial situation is different. But the main thing is, uh, wow, we are back and better than ever. Aha. So. But, OK, wow. So this is something that's happening, too. You know, you want to get some dash coin. Um, that's 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 cool. You can do that there. Uh, you got Groupon. You can you can use that there. Uh, it's so much stuff going on, bro. Um, I'm just really excited to be a part of this. Uh, because, you know, going forward, there will be a lot of stuff going on. Um, congrats, guys. I know the insane amount of work this took. This is a lot of stuff. You have witnessed all the ups and downs of Crazy Ride. But mostly ups lately. So, yeah, man. Um, if you guys like this type of content, be sure to thumbs up this video. There's a lot to be optimistic about. There's a lot of stuff happening. And um, this is... I'm just so excited. Uh Obviously, we have the Horizon Partnership, right? Man, there's so much stuff going on. You know, it's all smoke and mirrors or whatever until mo more people start to actually realize what's happening. And then it's like, oh, yeah, it's so widespread, you know? Um, this is crazy. 120 million. Wow, this is crazy. So, your dash friends wish you the best of luck. Okay, uh, bro, I'm just so excited. Y'all should be excited too, man. Um, Dashcoin has been listed back on to um, a platform that it was initially delisted from. The uh, response, it seems to be, you know, people are happy, you know. Um, people are uh, not upset. Um, they're pretty much asking about other privacy coins, market manipulators, jail next. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> that's another way to view it, um, you know. So, yeah, man. Y'all get into it. Uh, this is big, and I did not know this. Um, so, with El Salvador coming online, with all these exchanges that initially took Dashcoin off, coming back online long term. This is what you take from this video. Monero's privacy coin has not been listed. And many other privacy coins have not been listed. So privacy coins probably, for now, are probably going to have to go through a little bit more um, loopholes. But payment coins like Dashcoin, Bitcoin, so on and so forth, Litecoin, um, Ethereum, you know, those type of coins, um, those are going to continue to, you know, gain uh, in the long term. Uh, short term, of course, uh, anything can happen. But, I mean, shit. Y'all know what it is, man. I ain't no CPA and a financial advisor. Dashcoin is going to 30000 by the end of the decade. If y'all like this type of content, be sure to thumbs up this video. Subscribe, man. Turn on post notifications. I love y'all so much. Um, and we're going to get rich. Y'all know what it is.